Hi, I'm Cole from Aventon. This is uh, our Solterra here. I'm gonna walk you through how to, to adjust your derailleur. Um, it's the same for all of our bikes. Uh, you may want to do this if it came out of adjustment and it's not shifting correctly, if you're hearing a lot of clicking, um, things like that are gonna be needing a derailleur adjustment. So the things that we're gonna need for the derailleur adjustment is a Phillips screwdriver, and you may need a, a wrench for these axle nuts right here. Um, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that this wheel is sitting, its axle is sitting all the way up into the frame and it's nice and tight, which we've already done here. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this derailleur hanger right here. Uh, where the derailleur attaches to the frame. There's this aluminum piece, which is um, kind of meant as a weak point so you don't hurt your derailleur or the frame, but it can bend very easily. So I'm just looking, make sure it's nice and straight. Same with the derailleur itself, and everything looks nice and straight. So the next thing I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna come over to the shifter, and we're gonna shift all the way down to the lowest gear if you can get there. And without turning the pedals, I'm gonna turn the shifter. So the reason we wanna do this is on a, on a new bike, this cable isn't stretched out yet, and over time, it'll get looser and looser, so we wanna get up, take up that slack as much as possible from the get-go. Um, so the next thing we're gonna do, bring that back down, and we're gonna adjust the high limit. So there's a high limit and a low limit right here. What they do is they limit how far the chain can go this way or this way. So for this high limit, it looks like it's too far um, in right now. So it's not allowing this, this chain to drop down into the lowest gear. So I'm gonna loosen this up and drop right, right in. There it goes. I don't wanna to go too far, I just want it right where it is kind of touching that next gear and then back it off. Now I need to go up into the largest gear, which is the low, low gear. It's not going all the way up there, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our thumb right here and just go slow and push it towards that side. And it looks like it wants to hop over it. So on this low limit, I'm gonna screw it in some. Try that again. So if I push it over, it's not wanting to go past that. While it's up here, I'm gonna check the B limit, which is this guy right here. What the B limit does is adjust how far this derailleur is gonna be from this cassette, these gears right here. So we want about 15 to 20 millimeters of space and it looks like it's close to it, so we're good there. The next thing we're gonna do is the tension, how much cable tension there is. So I'm gonna bring it all the way down, to this highest gear right here. Give it one shift, and it's not wanting to jump into that second gear. So I'm just gonna add more tension. Now it hops right in, let's go back down. It's kinda of hesitating, I'm gonna give it a little bit more tension. There it goes. Come back down and see how it's doing there. If it's hesitating on its way down, we have too much tension. All right, so now that we have smooth shifts going up these gears and down, it's not hesitating. We are all set, you can go ride your bike.